Is there really any freedom to how we organize our economy on a finite planet if the goal is to create the most efficient, sustainable means of production, distribution, and regeneration? No, there isn't. Industry is a technical process, a calculation problem, where the variables of human needs, physical science, and earthly resources are brought into a single regulatory equation, if you will. The properties of our resources can be scientifically quantified now, strategically assessed as far as their purpose, strategically oriented as far as the design in the most logical manner, distributed through the exact same logic of pure efficiency. We have globalization on this planet. What the hell are we doing? We're taking stuff from all over the world, exploiting labor, moving it around, wasting tons of energy, when we could easily develop production methods in local communities where you save x-fold amount of energy, the distance between elements moving is, is x-fold less. Uh, it's insane. But yet, the system perpetuates that. But that's for a larger order subject that I don't have time to go into. We could strategically orient industry, and it's self-evident as we do based on the physics of our reality and where things are. We could enable an efficiency never known before. It becomes self-evident. And why would we possibly, with regard to sustainability, want to do anything less? As counterintuitive and culturally obtuse as it may seem, there is no freedom or opinion in our technical reality. There is only the most efficient way up until now, and the rest is simply inefficient. The definition of economy in Greek means management of a household. A reduction of waste and maximized efficiency is inherent in this premise. Is this the way our current free market system is operating? Well, let's take a step back again. What drives a global economy? Consumption, and the more the better. More consumption means more jobs, better GDP, and hence enabling more consumption through purchasing power that's enabled. Is that efficient? Shouldn't preservation and reducing waste be the basis of an economy on a finite planet by definition? How can an economy based on the need for constant growth and turnover, and even, even an economy based on constant need for employment, be economizing anything at all. Then there's this thing called cost efficiency. Cost efficiency demands cutting expenses to remain competitive in the marketplace. Every single product created by any corporation today, without exception, is immediately inferior by design for the market requirement to cut creation costs in favor of lowering the output purchasing price to maintain a competitive edge automatically reduces the quality of any given item by default. It is impossible to create the strategically best, long-lasting anything in our society, and this translates into outrageous amounts of wasted resources. Likewise, the same mechanism is also reinforcing environmental disregard, depletion, and pollution. There's everyone's trying to save money. Why are they, you think they're going to really care about the environment? The logic is against it. We see this constant in the world today among many, many other issues I could list. In fact, if you take a moment to really step back and think about this, not only is this inefficiency a characteristic of the market model, it's actually the fundamental driver. Having clean, say, unpolluted water in your home might seem like a nice thing and gesture, but the fact that money is not being exchanged for that is anathema to the economic sustainability that we've come to understand. So more pollution means more profit. More disease means more jobs ad infinitum. In fact, I would go so far to say, as pointed out here, that sustainability, efficiency, and preservation empirically are the enemies of our economic system 